Hello, my name is Ken, welcome to my channel. I like to philosophize here. <laughs> I wanted to show you something. I wanted to show you my little corner of the world, my little office space, my little studio thing where I do my uh, recordations. Uh, and uh, here are my books, actually. Yeah. Hey, baby, baby Yoda inside. With the move, I've lost the, the remote, which like colors him up and so that's pretty sad. Um, but I wanted to show you the books. Uh, this is not all of my books. This is just, just I don't know, a tiny fraction of it, maybe 10%. But a lot of the books are in audio format. I love Audible. I, I have, I, like, I, I have that subscription where every month you just pay $15 and you get one book for free, which, like in here, I have the uh, complete um, Sherlock Holmes collection, but I also bought it from... Um, uh, audible for for one one token right and the complete value of that was 70 70 80 dollars or something but i got it for 15 dollars that is that is an amazing value to hear stephen fry like with his gruffy voice talk about sherlock and all his adventures well <laughs> i just finished reading uh awaken online book number i don't know seven eight nine maybe and what I usually like to do is when I have um, a fictional book like Harry Potter, Harry Potter, that's, then I will usually, uh, another book, I like to do something that teaches me something, a history or about spirituality or about making, you know, money. There's a, plus you are the placebo where your mind is, you know, a lot of mind is the master of this universe. So a book that I started to read was Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I know I'm, I'm like, I am, I don't know, seven, twelve. when did that book came out? I'm, I'm very late to the party and, and it has been sitting there on my list for, for a long while, to be honest. And I told my wife about it this morning and she was like, yeah, I've read this book twice by now. And I was like, wow, cool, that's that's like super cool. Do, do you use, are you in the moment? And she's like, no, no, not at all. And that got me thinking, do you also read books like you just suck them in and then you forget about them? Because that's the phenomena that I have also witnessed where uh, a lot of these amazing books like Sapiens, uh, Brief history of uh, humankind offers like when I'm reading this, I'm 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 like I'm in a different state of mind, and I'm feeling like whoa, this this world just opens up. I know its secrets. I know how humans behave or how the world operates, and um, a lot of the times you cannot do anything with the knowledge like straight away. You cannot go take it to the bank and you know, cash in, but but some spiritual books. Um, like The Alchemist or what else do I have? Well, The Placebo that talks about your mind uh, actually physically changing your DNA and, and, and stuff. At the moment, I'm thinking like, yeah, that's awesome. We can be gods and stuff. And then I dry them out for maybe a couple of days and then I forget about it. So what is the point of reading books if you're not actively using them what's what's the point of wisdom anyway huh? and that's why we get mad when other people are trying to show show them the, a better path forward a better way of life because we we all want that but we don't we don't even even we don't do that when we're reading books yeah we want to change our life but but it's hard man i get it um we get tired, bored, we forget the, the current of the light. Life just takes us away and uh, sad, gray, every day, Monday, Tuesday, life just comes and sweeps us away, which is pretty sad. Now reading the book twice or three or four times usually like cements that information. That's why I tried to do my Laws of Human Nature series, which I still want to finish. There's two episodes to, to come, one about um, zeitgeist, which is the spirit of the times where people usually, uh, they, uh, they get, get stuck in some sort of, um, mindset that they had as a kid, some better times. And, and, and this, 
every new generation that comes after them is so foreign and so alien and, and we tend to hate, you know, what kids are doing on TikTok. I, I don't understand that. Back in my days, we just went outside and played played with the, you know, played ball, climbed trees, and now people are lip syncing on TikTok and earning millions. Like, that is unnatural, is it? Is it though? Because times are always changing. So that's one thing. And the other thing is about death. I like to talk about death because death reminds us about life, which is ultimately um, where we are right now. The power of now also tries so hard to remind me that everything we have is right here and right now. There is no future, there is no past. And if you're not happy with it, then you have to look within and, and change it. And I'm hoping that it's not only uh, while I'm listening to this uh, Eckhart Tolle guy very slowly and calmly speak about how everything we ever need is inside us that it's not the only time I'm doing this and after that book I will still continue doing it there was another amazing book called the breath which talks about breathing and right now while I'm rambling here I am breathing so little that I'm <sighs> need to take a better breath um during that when I was listening to, to when I was listening to that book I was breathing constantly I was being aware of my breath but right now I haven't done it for a long while so it, honestly it is so annoying that we don't we just let this wisdom there's millions and trillions of books and, and and websites on the internet telling us how to get better but we just we just forget we ignore we forget and we get mad and that makes me mad what about you do you do you uh, read and forget or do you actively try to better yourself every day working hard leave them down in the comments below and hey um thank you so much for watching uh, please if it's no trouble to you you can press that little like button and maybe join the curiosity gang for more videos thank you so much have a nice day love you